Tried to play it in back. It bounces loose off in front for Trudeau. And he's still inside his own zone. Will turn the puck over. Chisholm right back in again. To the outside on Maynard. Backhand shot. Scores! It's going to be Chisholm for the Acadie Bathurst T10 on the backhand. Shallow right wing circle. Finds that in back of Jacob Gooby. Well, the Islanders had all kinds of time to move it. And Trudeau usually picks a spot or goes off the glass or out. This time here just takes too much time. Turns it over and then it's a bad angle shot. Chisholm gets to the outside of Maynard and just beats Gooby on the short side. One that Gooby would like to have back. Just an all around ugly sequence for the Islanders. And it's Chisholm to the outside of McQuaid and banks it off Gooby and in with 62 seconds to go here in this first period. So for Logan Chisholm, his fifth of the season, it's a one nothing. That was when you're struggling for goals, you're missing offense in your lineup here tonight, that's where you need it. Right back in again, Kidney is going to be filled in. Here comes Oliver, he took a look, he had Gal uh, Gallant breaking down the far wing. Warriors who are trying to generate some offense. Well, they don't want to go down two, that's for sure. Harris Kidney now stepping off a left face off dot, flipped off in front, backhand shot, off the post and it's in. That's not what they wanted to happen. MacArthur. A puck. Off that uh, glove side post, along with Riley Kidney. Both battling into the paint it goes. And Kidney will make it a 2 nothing game. Well, 10 seconds in on the power play. As Kidney's just able to walk, he waltzes into the slot. A rolling puck. Lowen can't get a clean handle on it. Somehow a pinball's in behind Gooby and the Islanders down two. And Bednar looks like he's going to be tough to get three behind here tonight. So for Kidney, that'll be his 17th of the season. Hard pressed for either team to pull out a series win. The way they're playing here tonight. Off that right wing. There's Melanson. Tight angle shot. Scores! Melanson. Whoa! Over the left shoulder as Gooby goes down to jam up the short side. And he is going to rope one underneath the crossbar over the left shoulder. And that is 3 0 in favor of the T10. Yeah, and Shatney's coming in. I mean, that's two shorties, short side goals, I should say. Melanson, bad angle shot. I mean, that was almost from the goal line. Gooby's down, it's up over top of the shoulder. Shatney will come in, that'll spell the evening for Jacob Gooby. Leaves his feet a little early. I don't think he was expecting Melanson to fire from there. No, and I mean, as you go further up the ladder and the, and the the side by Bednar. He's getting tuned up for his chance to play in the World Juniors. Off in front. Right there is a shot up top. That one is going to knuckle and off the blocker and up over the crossbar of Bednar. As we have come through center ice, Ryan two on one. Top of the circle, laying it down low, right off in front. And the rebound. Pop backhand shot again towards the goal. Cameron McLean, the Island Minor Hockey Product is going to lead it back. There's a shot towards the goal. They score on a backhand. Empson's let the initial shot go. And Shatney is going to give up the rebound. And it'll be a 4 nothing lead. 5.09 left here in this third period as the T-10 on the board. Cam McLean will make yep. his family happy with that one. The New Haven native is Ansem sends it through. And somehow McLean's wide open. Back door. Initial shot looked to be handled cleanly by Shatney. He just couldn't get the handle on it. And the rebound gets away. And Cameron McClain on the board. And, and, this, and this is this is the team that a lot of people thought they would see in the first half of the season. A lot of people picking them to win. Nets open, and MacArthur is going to bury it into the open net. 5 nothing as the goaltender comes out. And we've got Ben and MacArthur putting the fifth one on the board for the Acadie Bathurst T10. Played around and the Acadie Bathurst T10 are going to shut out the Charlottetown Islanders right here at home at the East Link Center in Charlottetown. 5 0 will be the final score in a well played game by the Acadie Bathurst T10. They'll take it and it'll be a happy group moving up the highway back to Bathurst after this solid roll.